Hey guys, it's time for this guy to go live upstairs with the rest of the plants. I'm going to pull that out and put it in a pot and take it upstairs okay. with me. Okay, well, let's see what kind of roots we have in here. I'm trying to just grab it up. I think I buried it pretty deep. So let me... See what I'm working with here. Okay, that feels like the bottom. So I am just going to put some vermicompost in the bottom of that little container. And okay, I think I've underestimated the size of this thing. All right, let me go get a big plan B. Gonna put more vermicompost in this bigger pot and uh, probably got too much light. Can you see that? Size of my hand. That's a bit nuts, isn't it? Alright, well that's gonna go into that pot and I am just gonna put some more compost on top of that and bring him back up to my plant room. I'll bring you back when I've okay. got him settled. Well, let's see. The roots are still not even fitting in a one quart pot. We're going to have to tuck them in just a little bit. You can probably guess I'm holding the top of this tree with my chin because I'm shooting with one hand. Alright. And uh, yeah, you probably can see better than me that I am taking some worms with me. I have worms in all of my plants. It's uh, it's good. Anytime there's anything dead in there, they eat it, and then I don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to see if that stands up. All right, that is standing up on its own. I'm going to go get a little bit of uh, inorganic to put in here so that it's not just worm castings although um, um, this thing's probably close to three foot tall so just worm castings is done quite lovely but it's also pretty leggy um, so I'm going to go get some inorganics and then we're going to take him upstairs to his new home. Okay, just as an addendum, this is also an avocado tree. I'm going to scoop that up and put that in the pot that the other one did not fit into so that I don't have to play this game next time. So I'm just going to put that in there. And then I'm going to dig up a little bit here and put that right back. Cover it back up with the vermicompost in progress. Just just like it was before, only when it finally does its thing, it, uh, it will be easier to get into a pot. Alright. Well, that's it for now. All right, one last thing. In case you're wondering what diatomaceous earth looks like, I buy it from bonsai soil. And you can see how big this is. This is rock salt or bigger. And I incorporate that in so that there's good drainage. Plus, it's also a good um, way to give the beneficial bacteria some place to live inside of those little pores in the diatomaceous earth. Okay, I'm going to take that upstairs before I uh, water it. Now you're just walking through the house with drippy, drippy plant soil. Alrighty. Well, so there you go. Let me know what you think. Uh, I know there's a lot of different methods for making an avocado tree. Um, my worms just have their method, which seems to work super awesome. Alright guys. Well, if you like this video, uh, give me a thumbs up and click the subscribe button if you like this sort of thing 
and uh, ring the notification bell if you'd like to see what I'm doing when I'm doing it. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms in my avocado tree. Everybody, have a good new year. Bye-bye.